the Egyptian pyramids are one of the world's most famous architectural feats. Egyptologists are still learning more about these buildings with each passing year since they are a magnificent feat of engineering. Since the days of the Grand Tour, the Giza Pyramid Complex has drawn tourists from all over the world, and children studying the mysteries of ancient Egypt can't help but identify the pyramids with the great pharaohs of the past. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the reasons why pyramids of Egypt scare archaeologists. First, let me tell you a fun fact about Egyptian pyramids. Do you know that pyramids in Egypt are aligned with the stars? The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper appear to have been employed by the ancient Egyptians to position their pyramids in a north-south direction. This alignment is so exact that their north-south locations are within 0.05 degrees of precision. What do you think are the reasons? What makes archaeologists scared of these pyramids? To answer these questions, we have prepared a list of these reasons. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. The first reason which we are going to talk about is that they weren't all pointed at the same time. Not all pyramids are the same. Pyramid construction, like many other forms of construction, has various stages. The first pyramids were not the pointed constructions we conceive of, but rather flat structures. Many examples may be found at the massive Saqqara Burial Cemetery in Memphis, ancient Egypt's capital. The Pyramid of Djoser is among the earliest known pyramids found here. It was built between 2630 and 2611 BCE under the Third Dynasty and was designed by architect Imhotep. It is one of the world's oldest monuments built of cut stone, yet it is not pointed at all. Imhotep constructed mastabas, Egyptian tombs, of decreasing size on top of one another, creating a step pyramid. From the Borobudur Temple in Indonesia to the Maya's El Castillo Pyramid in Chichen Itza, this typology may be seen in many cultures. The next thing that makes archaeologists think is that why most of the pyramids are built by the west of the Nile River. The ancient Egyptian society was rich in symbolism and beliefs, which influenced decision-making. As a result, it should come as no surprise that mythology directed the site of the ancient pyramids. The majority were constructed on the Nile's west bank for a specific cause. Because the pyramids were Pharaoh's final resting places, it's only natural that their spirits should be able to begin their trip into the afterlife there. The afterlife and the sun were inextricably linked for ancient Egyptians. Osiris, an Egyptian deity associated with the afterlife, symbolized the power of rebirth. He also got identified with the sun cycle and how it promoted fresh growth from dormant seeds throughout time. The sinking sun became associated with death as a result of this relationship, and the sun died in the west each night. Pharaoh's spirits were said to link with the setting sun before rising in the morning, a sign of endless life. They resided in the area that figuratively represented death by erecting pyramids to the west of the Nile. The next thing that surprises archaeologists is that astronomy was used by the Egyptians to guide their construction. The stars, according to a British Egyptologist, were a guiding influence in the alignment of the pyramids. The Big Dipper and Little Dipper were employed to position the pyramids in a north-south orientation according to research released by Kate Spence of Cambridge University in 2000. Their readings were so precise that they only had a 0.05 degree margin of error. Surprisingly, utilizing this knowledge, astronomical data may be used to date the pyramids. The next surprising thing is that slaves did not build these pyramids. It's possible that the long-held belief that the pyramids were built by slaves is incorrect. Through his writings, the Greek historian Herodotus promoted the belief that slaves built the pyramids. It's an idea that was popularized by Hollywood at the time, although it may or may not be accurate. Pyramid builders' graves were unearthed in the 1990s. Egyptologists are confident that they were not slaves, but rather workers from lower-income households. Their burial in a tomb indicates that their work in the construction of the pyramids was seen as a privilege, not a treatment that would have been accorded to slaves. You will be surprised to know that these pyramids can tell time as well. 
the Great Pyramid of Giza is not only Egypt's most famous structure, but it is also the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that is still standing. The Great Pyramid is amazing for a variety of reasons, but one of the most intriguing features of this famous structure is that it can tell time. The structure functions as a massive sundial, with its shadow falling on markings carved into the stone to tell the time. It couldn't just be any ordinary sundial though, since it's the Great Pyramid. Because of its intricacy, it could not only tell time, but also mark solstices and equinoxes, assisting the Egyptians in defining the solar year. Now, we will talk about how by 1000 BC, every pyramid had been looted of its riches. Egyptians thought that their pharaohs, together with their valuables and occasionally even their slaves, should be buried together. As a result, gold, jewelry, clothing, and other valuables were placed in the graves with the mummies. Other countries' monarchs, on the other hand, have demolished the pyramids and stolen the gems and wealth back to their own kingdoms over the years. Despite the fact that the pyramids are extremely difficult to destroy, lesser pyramids were targeted and their treasures looted. The Great Pyramid of Giza is an excellent illustration of this. An unsuccessful break-in is documented, and the deep hole created in the pyramid's construction can still be seen today. Because the building of these pyramids is so astounding, considerable study has gone into trying to build structures that are equally as powerful today. The mortar used is still a mystery, and experts haven't been able to pinpoint where it came from. The next reason on our list is its construction. The stones were as heavy as elephants, and the construction of a pyramid took 200 years. The stones used to construct the pyramids weighed over 10 tons each, making them nearly as heavy as an elephant. Scientists are still trying to figure out how they were able to move these stones up to the heights of the pyramids. The pyramids rose to a height of around 203 steps, and each stone was put with incredible accuracy, and they are still standing today. The construction of these magnificent pyramids took a long time and work, with each one taking around two centuries. In ancient Egypt, over 138 pyramids were erected, and their beauty resides not only in their structure, but also in the incredible amount of care that went into their placement in relation to the stars. The largest and oldest of the world's most famous pyramids. It's not named the Great Pyramid of Giza for nothing, standing 481 feet tall. It was built at the direction of Pharaoh Khufu probably around 2560 BCE. However, the exact method of construction is still unknown. Still, archaeologists have been able to explain numerous mechanics underlying the building's creation piece by piece. The stones were quarried from a quarry close south of the pyramid, and scholars believe that soaking the sand beforehand made their trek across the desert simpler. However, this only explains how the stones moved from one spot to another, not how they were subsequently carried high into the air and deposited in a massive triangle. Egypt is a place full of wonders, and pyramids are one of its wonders. These pyramids not only fascinate locals and tourists, but archaeologists as well. How much do you like these pyramids? And how much do you get fascinated from them? Did these reasons surprise you as well? Do let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below.